Severn, you've got nothing to talk about. Hey, welcome to episode 110 of Front Seat Gamer. I'm Nick. I'm here with Severn. Yo. And Blake. Hey. How's it going, guys? Pretty good. Yeah, it's good. We're a week late. Yep. What happened? I was sick. What were you sick with, Blake? Um, the flu. Where'd you get it? I don't know. Good question, Nick. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, that's the end. I don't know because no one around me at work was sick. Mm. So you're patient zero. Yeah. But I, 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 I took time off so i'm not patient zero because nobody else will get sick around me because i took time off mm. like a <laughs> oh, no, you know i'm not feeling so good well I, I spat in your uh, drink before so that makes sense yeah well i mean i asked you to so yeah. that, that um uh so you guys got been playing some stuff you, you got you got video games you guys have video games you heard of them yeah <laughs> yeah man I've, I've been playing some games uh what have you been playing um you know what? There's been some news out over the last three weeks. Three oh. weeks? Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to mention? <laughs> yeah, you're talking about Untitled Goose Game. Yeah. <laughs> Are you playing that? Actually, yeah. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> it's it's really fun and weird, and I love it. Mm. But it's also quite short. But um, what a joy it is. Mm. Just a little little bundle of joy. Yeah. yeah. The, the, is the idea just to annoy? Uh, yeah, you're you're just a jerk. You're mm-hmm. a jerk goose, and you go around a small town, and it looks like it's a small town in England, mm. uh, just annoying the citizens and like ruining them. I heard it described lives. as Hitman, but you're a goose. Um, it's it's like if Hitman's job was to just annoy people, <laughs> was to just upset people, and he was a goose, and he was a goose. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not really about stealth. It's about like <laughs> just just making them. Honking bad. at people, yeah. <laughs> um, like there was okay. Here's a, here's a real quick example of uh, there's a, there's the second area you go to. There's like a little boy, and he's got some glasses, and he's playing with a little toy airplane. And there's like a woman who's a shopkeeper, and uh, one of the tasks is to like pull things out of the shop and put them in a the shopping basket. And uh, the woman who's a shopkeeper will try and shoo you away with a broom. You can go and find like a walkie-talkie, and um, you can bring it into the shop, and then you can like grab the other side of the walkie-talkie, and whenever you honk, she'll like run over to it and go like, "What the hell is this doing here?" <laughs> um, and you can also grab the boy's plane and put it in the shop as a product, and he comes wandering over and is like, "Oh, I'm taking my plane back," and she accuses him of stealing. Oh wow! And then makes him pay for his own plane. It's pretty great. It's amazing. Can you um, impress people being a goose? Because you're a, you're a guy possessing. I can goose. impress my wife being a goose. Oh yeah, yeah. But we don't say, talk, look we don't talk about that. Being a goose, I am. Okay. And she but says, in the game, in the game. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I I think at no point are people impressed that you're a goose. Mm. I think they take that for granted. And then, you know what? That's a fair criticism. Mm. But you can't you're... do anything like um, I don't know, flap your wings on command. Yes, you can. But no, if if someone asks you to, like maybe they try to play fetch with you or something yeah does it do that yeah you can you can flap your wings there's a button for that i'm i'm talking about playing fetch <laughs> oh um i mean uh i don't know if do you know what i mean part... like would you get praise from from npcs in that game there you do get praise from an npc at one point yes okay um That's there's cool. a part where you go to a pub mm. and there's like a little like uh like a drain like a, you know like a concrete access point mm. for like a drain or whatever and you can, it kind of, if you walk onto it, it kind of feels like you're walking onto a stage and there's like a couple who are at a table chatting mm. um, and you can like uh, raise your wings and, and, um, and they'll look at you and they'll applaud. Wow. Yeah. And then um, the, they'll, they'll like bow towards you and then you, so you can bow towards them. And Very applaud. cool. Wow. Um, and then you can like seal a guy's harmonica. And, and can you it. just steal their, <laughs> steal products and um, pretzels from them? No, but they do give you a rose if you if you impress them enough. They'll, they'll give you hold out a rose and you wow. can take it and wander away. Can you, can you steal the guy's wife? Uh, it's two women. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, can you can you steal one of them? It's really, um, really old fashioned. Ah, uh, like, yep, yep. Really, not woke. <laughs> Get me. woke, Blake. <laughs>
Um, and no, you can't steal any of them. Okay. Anyway, uh, it, I got it for real cheap because Nintendo has a nice discount thing. The That's end. cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, worth, it was worth the... F- I think I paid a little over $5 for it, mm. which I would absolutely... If you can get it for a little over $5, yeah. Um, but if you want like a long game experience, I think it's like 20 bucks by default. Hmm. Let's switch something like that. Uh, it's it's a bit pricey, but yeah. it's also really cute. Yeah, so, I don't know. So the actual news items were um, <laughs> <Shit>. Red, <laughs> Red Dead is coming to PC. Oh yep, yep. Anyone excited? I am Nick, excited. I see. Um, I, I see. <laughs> Nick might finally get it, and then he'll Here know what up. we're all talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Punch a horse with I think, us. I think, <laughs> as I, as I understand it, the keyboard is really the only controller that will work for that game properly. Mm. <laughs> every, yeah, not wrong. every button is used. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> you can, and then you can hold down a shift, and you, <laughs> you got a whole lot of buttons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and control yeah. shift, and you got... <laughs> I'll probably pick it up. It's coming out in November, right? I think so. Yeah, oh, man. Um, every, oh man, there's a lot of stuff coming out in November. Uh, yeah, is yeah, that true? Yeah. What else is coming out in November? Uh, the new Pokemon game is coming out in November. Ooh. And Death Stranding is Hang coming on. out in November. Oh, hey, whoa, goodness. whoa, let's just pause it right there. Blake, how could you play the new Pokemon game with a Switch? Oh, I got a Switch. What? <laughs> Blake, Blake got a Switch? <laughs> but but the Pokemon game isn't even out yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't bought any games for it. I'm just that excited. <laughs> I'm just looking at it. Every day I just look at it and be like, just one more month. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't, Can't wait, wait to unpl- unpack this thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that box looks cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let's talk about... We'll, t- we'll get to the Switch in a second. Yeah. Hold on. I'm just going to shut the windows. <clears throat> get a, yeah, good idea. Uh, Blake likes to fart and make us smell it. What? Nothing. Blake's back. Uh, th- so, tell me... Red Dead coming to PC. Yep, yep. That, that, was, that was one piece. Yeah. Um, and, um, and PlayStation Five, that's, that's oh, I've heard that's, that was announced. Oh, that's happening. So okay, <laughs> so yeah. I've been I've been seeing these images, yeah, of what sp- supposedly the PlayStation Five looks like. Hot garbage. It, yeah, <laughs> that was going to be my exact words with some hot fiery garbage. Yeah, like, it's the like hardware itself. It's no, no just no, just oh, what, the form, of the, console. the form of it. <laughs> okay, it looks like like what. A movie from the '80s thought a future device would look like. <laughs> I haven't yeah. seen it. What does it look like? Describe it. Well, I mean, you were describing it. Describe it better. <laughs> Describe to, to, it more. To me, it's like a... to me, it's like if if someone was to bake you a cake mm. and then put a U level on it, the second level of this cake, uh-huh. and then a, a bunch U. of LEDs and like like a U. Like... Sorry, on its side. Oh. <laughs> So oh, as, as no. you look down on it, you see a U. Oh, so it's like round with an, a second round thing with a big chunk taken actually, out of it? Actually, it might be a V. A v. Oh, but it just looks V like for a five? Gross. Oh, actually, maybe. maybe. V for five, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh, if they Probably do not that, that's Vendetta. real, that's real <laughs> gross. <laughs> but, but it looks like it's got too many buttons. All right, I have an image of it, and this okay. is going to be Nick's live reaction. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's look, it looks dumb. Um... Yeah, why? Why? <laughs> no, it's a U. It's a U. <laughs> oh, sorry. Or, or a V. Uh, you? I think, I think a it's U. a V. Um, also, it looks like it's upside down, because it's got what appears to be two little bumpers on it that look like what I would put. Well, maybe, maybe that's an option. I mean... Because you could put... Uh, also, it says Let's Go Digital on it. This, to me, I... Well, look, I I think it's probably fake, would be my guess. Yeah. Um, But this is the image that... Like, That's the one it seems to be showing. Bounced around. Yeah, it's it's really weird. Um, here's my big question. Yeah, why are they already putting out a PlayStation Five? What What do you mean? No, I just bought one, a uh, PlayStation Four. <laughs> yeah, well, like, okay, so the PlayStation Two came out in the year two thousand. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to consult Google on this. All right, we're googling. <laughs> PlayStation Two, I think, came out in two thousand. Mm-hmm. Uh, PlayStation Three came out in two thousand nine. Okay, I'll believe you. So and or maybe maybe in two thousand eight, but like functionally, the yeah. people they were still making good PlayStation two games for like ten years. Yeah, right? yeah. When did when did PS four come out? PS four came out in twenty thirteen or twenty fourteen. Thirteen. Late late twenty thirteen. Yep, November. Um. So doesn't that seem like it's kind of a short lifespan? Seven years. 
Uh, six. This is coming out twenty twenty. I thought it was coming out holidays this year. No, I think I think everywhere has been saying twenty twenty. Okay, holiday twenty twenty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, okay. Well, I mean, seven years. Sure, it still feels a little bit. I mean, it's certainly shorter than previous. Yeah, it does feel console life cycle. It does feel short, especially because I thought. I mean, wasn't the big rumor that like they were just going to keep improving the current PlayStation, you know, PlayStation yeah. Pro Two or whatever, mm-hmm. and and that sort of thing. Now, the gap between PlayStation Three and PlayStation Four was also pretty short however i think the justification for that was they were getting crushed by xbox 360 Mm. right um and so they wanted to be the new hotness but right now sony has been like dominating microsoft for this generation so it seems i don't know it seems early to me to be pushing out another console i don't know where this rumor came from do you know where this thing Uh, originated the the rumor yeah i I don't know about the image but you know, PlayStation have have been talking about this console for a while. They did that. Uh, what what's his name? That Cerny guy, Mike Cerny, Matt Cerny. It's Sony. It's pronounced Sony. No, no. There's that Cerny guy. <laughs> he who had the um. Mike Sony. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> Mike Sony. Mike Sony. <laughs> Mike Sony had the um. They had that Spider Man demo, and they were showing yeah. off that hard drive tech that they had. Okay. Um, that was months ago. Mm. So yeah. that that like Sony has been talking yeah. about this for a while but this this is a leak right not an actual announcement well the date is official they, they uh, confirmed that because uh, like, they I, confirmed it was going to be called a playstation 5 i mean that's uh, yeah okay. the image is a whole Man. other thing i think the image is gonna <laughs> Where do they be... come up with these names they're yeah. so good <laughs> well the the yeah the question is what's the new xbox going to be called <laughs> Xbox uh, One Two, Xbox One X One, X I I X I, um, but yeah, they've been talking about it for a while. Yeah, and, and everyone knew it's well. I mean, coming. yeah, every, everyone knows it's sort of on the horizon. If you ask me, we're getting close to what I think we'd normally consider the end of this console cycle, right? It would be yeah, I and it's I would say it, I, it still feels too early to me. It feels early to me because I feel like I only just bought a PlayStation 4. Yeah. Mm. And so I'm like, I haven't got my, my use out of it. You didn't get in when the Order 1886 came out. <laughs> you know I, mean? I remember. <laughs> had a, that I was had, on our, one of our first episodes yeah. ever. That was my console purchase, man. Really? That, I, I think oh, I got yeah. in like, you know, Infamous came out. Yep. Yeah. That, that was but you you know me. Ago. I had I had my five game rule. Mm. and uh, And you've already broken it. Well, for the Switch, yeah. no, because one of those games equals two games. Oh. It's so good. <laughs> that, you know what? I that I accept. I accept that yeah. as, a, as an excuse. Um, but no, I I kind of feel that it's it's pretty soon. Like it's it's. You, you think so? Yeah. You know, I talked to some of the guys at work about like um the PlayStation Port Path of Exile, and they it, it's pretty rough, man. Like yeah, th- those. The hardware is pretty hard to cater to yeah. in, in 2019. Yeah, I, I get it. That, well, that's why I thought, I just thought that they'd be putting out more updated PlayStation 4s. Like, Oh, yeah. You know. Okay. But the I, I guess it's good because you don't need to support, you know, base PS4 consoles. Yeah, I suppose. Because that, that's the limit you're, uh, like, targeting. Yeah. Well, this, this generation anyway. Yeah. But with games being basically digitally installed like like <laughs> like like uh supporting older games shouldn't be a problem right oh they'll find a reason not to do it so they can resell it to you uh yeah. so so ps5 is gonna you'll be able to play all your old games on oh really it. yeah according to who they said that uh playstation oh really yeah okay. i think <laughs> wasn't cool. there a thing when going from three to four they were like because three had such weird architecture yeah, man it had the cell process yeah <laughs> it had that cell process of that like supporting those games for four were like was a tricky thing or something i mm. think they they really wanted to sell you the last of us again yeah you know? yeah yeah <laughs> and um, they did yeah, yep, they, <laughs> yeah did. they got me <laughs> they got me good yeah um, um how many gta's have you bought so far man um <laughs> yeah. Three, you know, I always, I'm always confused. Like, what's, what are you getting at? <laughs> Don't you support companies? Do you not want to like support well? developers yeah. that you that you like the products? Of? Support um, the little guy, Nick. I honestly, I can't really criticize. I bought Zelda toys. Mm, mm. Um, speaking about supporting developers you love, yeah, I am. Um, so Grand Theft Auto, I play it occasionally. What online? This is the yeah. first I've heard of this. And uh, 
And because of all this rampant freaking hackery, oh, shit. I don't, I don't want to like buy these like credit in the game. Yeah. Because Arsenal's just like, you know, hack the shit out of oh, it. Oh, man. And then put like billions of dollars in their bank account yeah. for, mm. for free. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm going to buy uh, apparel from uh, from Rockstar. Uh huh. And. You know, have it have it sent to me. This Wait, is how I'll support real them. real I'll, world. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy a shirt. I'll buy oh, I'll buy cool. trinkets and that yeah, kind of a thing. A hoodie, a hoodie, whatever. Yep. Um, so I I I brought some t shirts. Yeah, and man, I I like had something arrive at work. Yeah, excited. I go into the kitchen. I ordered two of these like black shirts and oh, in the kitchen to put on your maybe, shirt. Maybe maybe red <laughs> yeah, one, one of the one of these red shirts. Um, that, that's where the knives are. So I had to cut this. Oh. <laughs> Yep. Anyway, so like I bring it into the kitchen so, yep. so I can cut into this plastic bag. Anyway, it's meant to have two black shirts and a, and a red shirt. Yeah, and, and they just sent one black shirt, oh, and, I, and I was like, "Screw these freaking guys! I'm not." Maybe there, uh, maybe the others are on the way. No, it's been like uh, shit six weeks. Yeah, yeah, and oh. I, and and the kicker is there's no support. Like I can't complain to anyone. So wow. how does that does that impact your opinion of? A little bit. Rockstar. Yeah. I kind of don't want to <laughs> order more than two of one shirt now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, more than one of a shirt. One thing right. at a time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. So, I mean, you almost bought as many sh- shirts as you did GTAs. <laughs> almost. <laughs> <laughs> just buy more GTAs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess if you want to support them, just keep buying GTA 5. Yeah. And just gift them to people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I probably should. Yeah. Hey, you could buy me uh Then you're just spreading the good word of GTA as well, Man. being like... Guys, have you heard how good this game is? <laughs> There's so much content in there. <laughs> in in Red Dead, uh, in Red Dead too. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Mm. Red if if, if you can get to the content with that control scheme, dude. Me and uh, Sav were just talking about this before. Like mm. it, it is such a slower paced game. It is such a simulator. You really need to like you were saying, Sav. You had to get in the mindset <laughs> before playing this game. Yeah, yeah, I really do. But it's but it's great because I can like stand on a um, on a mountaintop and just yep. appreciate the scenery. I know. Can I can I ask you a question? What's that? Is it fun? Yeah, I, I enjoy the shit. Out yeah, of it's okay. real fun. Okay, good. It's fun in a different way that Zelda is fun. Zelda okay. Breath of the Wild is fun. Now explain to me how Zelda is fun. Zelda is fun because it's just like it's more of a, like a sweeping adventure. You're like you you've got you feel like you've got this whole like playland set yeah. out before you and you're just like look at all this amazing stuff where red dead you feel like you're a dude in this environment it's like more of a simulation to me yeah and you're enjoying the like reliving the west you know you're as, as close to a cowboy basically <laughs> as you could get mm. i i enjoy it on like a few different levels like Shit, it, it really scratches that technical oh, video yeah, game yeah. art it, it, itch. It gets ho- you for that. Ho- holy crap, man. It was so good. Like, when it starts raining, I'm like, yeah. oh, my God. The, um, the weather, when you see the weather coming in, mm. you see a storm in the distance. Yeah. And then it just slowly comes in. It's beautiful. That's yeah, pretty cool. I, I've, I've never, like, looked at clouds and just been like, man, these clouds are awesome. Like, yeah. I'll do that in real life. But yeah, in yeah. a video <laughs> game, like, I, I, I yeah. don't do that shit until Red Dead yeah. comes around. Yeah, there's, there's not many games I've... Yeah, I, there's almost no games I've looked at clouds and been like, this is amazing. Mm. I've always liked the clouds and sky in general in Elder Scrolls games. Yeah. Hmm. How, do, how do they do it? Do you, do you know? Uh, I don't know how they do it, but I do know that like, if you look at Morrowind's sky, which mm. is, you know, this is back in 2004. Yeah. Mm. They had these beautiful moons. I actually, I did and... remember looking up at the night sky in Morrowind. But the thing is, that is probably just one massive, you like, probably a huge texture. texture. Yeah, <laughs> is it a key bit? Yeah, it's got to be. It's, it's got a bunch <laughs> of floating parts. But... I don't think the moons like move separately to the. They, they do. They do. They do. Oh, okay, um, well, it's just more fancy than I thought. Then yeah. it's pretty great. In fact, uh, it's part of uh, like I think they had some quite complex yeah uh, math governing the yeah. uh, orbiting bodies of ah. But I, I definitely remember looking up at that night sky and being like, this game is yeah. incredible. They, they've just always Wait, had which game are you talking about? Morrowind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I haven't, I don't think I've looked up at the night sky in uh, Red Dead. Mm. I look at the, uh, just across those like fields and trees and mm. everything in Red Dead and be like, my God, this game. The, the cool thing, man, that gets me with Red Dead is like just seeing the little villages like lit up across the, the landscape. Yeah. Like you just see glowing flickers in the yeah. distance and it looks awesome. It's so cool. I love, it's such, 
it's such a like journey filled game <laughs> because like you'll go up into the you go on a mission you're up in the mountains or whatever you're doing stuff up there for ages and then you come back down across the plains and you turn back and you look at the mountains where you've been and you're like I was up there <laughs> just not that, long ago. <laughs> that was... and then then I always like try to see if I can find you know a, a landmark up there that is yeah. like I remember that from when I was up there kind of thing yeah yeah I mean Zelda's full full of that stuff as well do you ever feel compelled to like okay, is it rewarding to explore in that game? Um, I it's it is, but it's not as rewarding as like I think Zelda is. I mean, Zelda has very clearly defined mechanics. Yeah, for, Z- Zelda was Zelda was definitely more like I I feel like Zelda has like rewards set up for you. Yeah, like you'll run definitely. to somewhere and you'll see a weird, you know, some like little blocks or something in a pattern mm. and there's this little puzzle that you do and that's sort of and you get you know the korok seed mm. uh or maybe there's a chest somewhere hidden mm. and you're like well that's my reward for like finding this place mm. but like red dead it doesn't you it doesn't really have that sort of thing but you might every once in a while wander into like a little weird story like kind of area mm. you know like i was i was going along and i found a house where the this couple were living and they were really creepy mm. and they invited me in and i was like okay well what's going on here and then you, they drug you planning to like steal your shit uh-huh. uh but then you wake up and they're like and because you know the drugs didn't work as as much right they'd been taking them all yeah yeah yeah, and, yeah sure <laughs> but you wake up in this this pile of corpses out the back of the house oh geez and so it's like this this whole like little story wow. thing that's neat that you if if you weren't exploring, if you were just doing the main missions, you'd never see. Mm. Yeah, that that's crazy. Yeah, I I didn't really get too off the main storyline. Yeah. Um, and I guess with this PC release, I'll, I'll try to yeah. play it again and and go through it. Because I I don't think like just I don't know if like getting to the top of a mountain, mm. if there's anything there that's gonna be a reward for you getting up there. Uh yeah I don't know I yeah. I haven't done much exploring which and, is why I kind of want to go through it again and exploration in Red Dead is a lot harder than Zelda yeah Zelda you can climb everywhere and yep. you can hang glide off a mountain top mm-hmm. exploration you're fine, is very but, much the main mechanic of Zelda yeah but because Red Dead is much more slower pace and much more of a simulator mm. it's a trudge mm. to get to the top of a mountain mm-hmm. and then a trudge to get back down mm. I see. Uh, one of the things I don't like about GTA is getting between the points of interest. But okay. that's that. Oh, GTA. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. So I, I, I now I I'm probably gonna pick up Red Dead too, but I want to know. <laughs> there is stuff that happens in between points of yeah. interest. Like, oh, sure, absolutely. Sure, sure. But like, am I gonna ha- like? Am, am I gonna enjoy the traveling? I don't know, Nick. Yeah, you tell us. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> I. There, there are things I think you'll enjoy, and then you don't, and then I'm... Oh, oh, I want to hear one of them. Well, the new Pokemon game, I thought, like, you and me would be right on board with that, but oh. you're just like, eh. Oh. Yeah. See? <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, okay, here's the thing. I've played... You played Pokemon ton, Go. I've, I've played a ton of Pokemon games. Yeah. Um, And they are all basically the same. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, this has been known for, yeah. like, so, 20 like, years. When they When they bring out a new one, I'm like, okay, sure. You know what's funny is I'm kind of like that with Mario's and Zelda's, unfortunately. Oh, well, I, I would say, Severn, you have not given Mario's and Zelda's a fair chance <laughs> in the last 10 years because they... You, you, you're right. You're probably right, yeah. They they really do provide a new experience, um, and that's part of why those genres, like those those particular series are so successful, mm. is they, they do make an effort to uh, innovate. I, I, know that, I know they're really cool, uh, like gameplay-wise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But that's not enough for me. I, I need I need some more. Okay, what else do you need? <laughs> I need I need um some high poly. I need two K texture maps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give me <laughs> give me a two K texture map. All right. Well, how about I print out an image that is uh of two K resolution, mm-hmm. and you can just stare at it. Give me that. It, it can be it can be a map. <laughs> yep. That I've pulled from a game mm-hmm. as a game texture, printed out at two K resolution. Yeah, I'm actually interested in what you want to print. <laughs> want to print it'll two, just, I mean, it'll just be high rule. How many? <laughs> huh? How many A4s is that going to be? Uh, it'll it'll depend on probably just the one because you know I don't want to use tape. Okay, you don't want to one A4 is like one pixel. 
oh no definitely not <laughs> that's too much that's too much i'm not you know am i am i made of money i'm not gonna pay for that much printer ink yeah you're right but yeah uh, one interesting thing with the Red Dead thing. Sorry, I'll I'll, I'll drop this. No, 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 <laughs> no. Keep going. I'm, I want to hear but, it. But uh, no, no ray tracing, no RTX stuff. Um, oh, which I, really? Which I thought was pretty interesting. Huh. Um, and and it kind of makes sense because of um, well, it's, it's all dirt. <laughs> you know, there's yeah. not there's not well, too there's, much crazy gloss and reflections there's happening. Puddles. There are puddles. puddles. Yep. And they've windows. got windows. They've got screen space reflections yeah. and stuff. And um, that whole shadow stuff, like uh. Red Dead has some pretty cool tech to deal with that. Mm. I, I don't know if you ever got into that. Did you see their shadows? Like how they do pretty sweet shadows in um, Red Dead? Dude, Red Dead I was so overwhelmed with that most games I walk around and go, how did they do this? Yeah. But for Red Dead I was just like, this game is too <laughs> too beautiful. I can't they, they take do it apart. The, yeah, so the, the thing I'm trying to describe is just the, the penumbra effect on your shadows. Mm -hmm. that, that go more sharp or more diffuse as... Uh, as it's an overcast or a sunny day, so they do that. Like mm. uh, that's cool in, in Red Dead, and this is what these RTX cards are, yeah. are, are pushing mm. for, like yeah. realistic shadows and that, that whole soft uh, shadow effect. Mm. So Red Dead already did that, so it kind of makes sense that they're not requiring you to have an RTX card <laughs> to see that. Yep, which is cool. Yeah, I mean, why why do other games require they have an RTX card? Why can't they just use a similar technique? Uh, they don't have the tech. This is my response. Yeah, <laughs> most likely. Well, how come? Uh, why are they bogarting all the tech? Come on, uh, come on. <laughs> why Rockstar. are they holding all that? Yeah. Tech? Bogarting. Yeah, don't don't Never bogart the tech. Someone used that. Give a share. Give me give me some. Give me some tech. Mm. I want a taste. Uh, all right. So we've we've talked a little bit about it already. But Blake, you you bought a switch. Yep, I bought a switch, and, and I bought Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that. Is the game that equals two games on my five game, uh, and I think, uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> I I was interested why you brought it. Like why uh, last week, two weeks ago, when when did you buy it, and why? And what oh, you reason? mean you mean was just there a why, sale? You mean something? just why did I buy a Switch? Yeah, at this um, moment, like was there a sale on? <laughs> I don't. I I can't remember if I got it on special. I don't think I did. You just had some money burning a hole in your pocket, and you had to run out. Um, Switch. it was. Like I really liked playing Zelda when when Nick lent me that Wii U. Yeah, um, until you broke it. <laughs> until you broke it. I played it so much it <laughs> burnt out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened. It, I seriously I didn't break it. I think you know. I what did happened. not break it. I don't know what happened. If anybody here I doesn't seriously know what happened, I don't know why it, it, it didn't work. I didn't <laughs> because do anything you broke to it, it. Like I did nothing you, to you it. You broke the Wii U. <laughs> it's you. You're the reason that console failed. <laughs> Man. Um, that's but, believable yeah <laughs> but like uh, I'd, I'd always been like I'm gonna get back to this game at some point mm. in the future maybe I can get a hack that's on PC or something <laughs> I don't know mm. um, and I was always looking out for like games on PC that were similar because it's just like it's it's just a cool adventure game mm. you know and it's like I like that art style it just looks nice it, mm. it's colorful beautiful um, it's also like it's yeah that game in particular has a way of predicting what you want to do and yeah. rewarding you for it. It definitely and there, does. And there's something magical about that where it's like... But the rewards are always those Korok seeds. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, not... Sometimes there's a chest. 99% of the time, yeah, it's a yeah. Korok seed. Um, but the fact that, like, they that's... That's you know, even there. Yeah. Well, what what can you. you do with a uh, Korok seed? Uh, you, you give them to someone and they um, extend your inventory space. Yeah, okay. so you can hold more yeah, weapons yeah. and armor and... Okay, these stash tabs? Shields and yeah, these are, these are stash tabs. <laughs> okay. Nick uh, actually told me something interesting about the Korok seeds. Mm. They're not really seeds. No. What are they, they are. Nick? They're poop. Uh. Um, it's, a, it's a really well-hidden little poop joke. Yeah. Um, if you collect a Korok seed, it says what, you know, you, this is a seed for, you got from helping a Korok. It has a distinct smell, and you can turn it, you can hand these in to blah, blah, blah. And uh, then you... Uh, there's 900 of them in the game, mm -hmm. uh, and they stop basically unlocking inventory slots at around 400 seeds, I think, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, but if you go for all 900, uh, the guy who unlocks your inventory gives you a huge Korok seed, mm. which is very clearly shaped like a poop, 
and um, like a like a swirly poop. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Like a like a chocolate ice cream. Yeah. swirly poop. And and it ex- and it's called it's called his gift. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and, yeah. and you and can't do anything with it. Can't do anything with it. And and, and I think it pretty clearly states in the description that it smells bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you you look back at the seeds and you go, oh, yeah, yeah. They're all so they've, the they've been pooped look like the whole too? time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're, yeah. The, the it's seeds really subtle. The seeds don't. I always thought it was just a stylized thing because the seeds don't look like seeds. They have a like little swirl on the end, like they yeah. come out of like somewhere, a, like a little lick. Yeah, a little lick. Yeah, too. like they've dropped <laughs> from a height. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's really a wonderfully hidden poop joke, and that's yeah. you know what Zelda <laughs> will always have my heart for that. Yep. Um, uh, but yeah, dude, I I'd been thinking like ah. Oh, Enough games piled up. That's basically it. enough games piled up. My five game limit. Mm-hmm. My they they piled up, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. Yeah, you had a switch on the mind. I had switch on the mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it wasn't because everyone at work is like, oh, get Smash. You know, get it for this. I'm like, I don't care about Smash. I, I'm not <laughs> a Smash player. Um, it was it was really those five games, and Zelda was so good that it was two of them, and then the and then <laughs> the the announcement of the the sequel oh. to Breath of the Wild yeah. that tipped me over the edge and i'm like all right now i'm gonna get it cool. and and uh, also because i've got that tv yeah it's just plugged in the tv i've never even played it like in its handheld mode right okay yeah you should you should try taking it to bed i don't want to sleep with my uh, playing <laughs> consoles hey thing. you know what don't judge me <laughs> no try playing that game in bed You'll be like, my God, <laughs> how I'm lying down and playing a video game. This is incredible. If from bed, and from you're, bed, you're, you're playing a, a, that Zelda game. Why well, you'd need a TV the, for that, in Nick? The, in the comfort of your bed, Ugh. try this out, Blake. It's luxurious. Next time you go to basketball court, <laughs> you, you bring that switch along. Oh man, <laughs> yo. No, I thought you were gonna say you bring your bed along. <laughs> <laughs> your bed along. You, you play basketball in bed. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay. So I want to ask you a question. Because you played Zelda before, I lent it to you. Yep. You finished at least one of the Guardian dungeons. Yeah, I, I beat the elephant, and yeah. I saw maybe I think a third or about quarter of the map. Yeah, you said you saw maybe, about a third. Maybe a maybe it's quarter because I was looking at that map, being like, I unlocked about a third, but I think I probably only saw like a quarter or less of it. Yeah. So, uh, and I think, as I understand it, you so you bought this new Zelda. Yeah. You basically retraced your. Steps. Yeah, I I pretty much did. I went a little. I went, uh, I I went a less exploratory route. Yeah. This time, because I sort of, I I explored in a different direction, but it ends up funneling me. You know, it, you meet the those fish people around them. Yeah. And they tell you that there's trouble in their homeland. Yeah. And to go meet this prince guy by a bridge. Yeah. When I first played, I went round like this back coast way i went mm. in just exploring the wilderness and i ended up uh meeting that prince guy before in- meeting any other fish people mm. and so he i just stumbled onto him and i was like wow this was amazing this was just here but in this i met like four bloody fish people yeah. being like hey <laughs> come over here they would yeah. need your help do and they was, do they like being called fish people uh I, they're called zoras <laughs> yeah, it's probably a derogatory term for them. They're fish people, though. They're so fish they, people. They do have basically sharks for heads. Yeah. 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 Whole sharks? Yeah. yeah. Not, not, it, is, shark. it, is weird. Not... it is weird. They do have, like, <laughs> they... instead of, like, they have, like, the, the fish tail as if it's, like, long hair behind yeah. them kind of thing. That's, yeah. pretty, that's yeah. pretty hot. There's this old guy that's, like, he's basically got a manta ray as a head. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. It's really good. I love okay. it. Yeah. Really um, weird character design. But, yeah, I... I Went, I guess, a more direct path to yeah. those guys. Beat the elephant, and now I'm sort of in this like northern region. And I'm, I'm doing. I, I was before I was sort of just running from like area to area, yeah. And sort of just wandering wildly, and now I'm sort of like trying to explore more areas, like, like more thoroughly. In depth. You yeah. know, yeah. So I'm sort of going around this, looking on the map, seeing what's interesting, and just trying to like mm. go around there and see what's there. It's usually a Korok seed. So after after having already done the a lot of the content you've just done, yeah, did you still enjoy it? Yeah. Why, um, dude? It's just it's just a fun game. Like I, I hate saying that it's just <laughs> fun, but it's it is like Nick's nodding. Nick's I don't nodding. know. I, oh yeah, <laughs> music to my ears. Yeah, yeah. 
it's just that whole like exploring thing and like just seeing what's out there. Yeah. It's it just it feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. And it, like it make it feel good to play. That music. I love that music. Wait, mm. it's it's such a good wandering music. You just wait until you get to the the wind dungeon. Oh my god. Yeah, see I've I've like all yeah, I have basically like explored the areas that I've previously seen. Yeah. And so I'm now just like I can't wait to like get to some some areas that I haven't seen before. Yeah. Um, There's some good stuff. Yeah. Laying in wait for you, Blake. Um I, I said it to him earlier, but I'm very jealous. I wish I could play through that game for the first time again. Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah I, like, I didn't see any desert areas, and I didn't spend much time in, like... Did you go any snowy areas? I didn't spend much time in snowy areas. Hey, did you go to the place with the, the Rito village? I didn't. It's, what one's it's that? It's uh, a giant stone spire. I did not. With a bird orbiting nope, it. Nope, I absolutely didn't. Uh, don't spoil things for me <laughs> all right i want to say anything else yeah wait, yeah wait. These, are, these are these are major landmarks that you'll visit a lot so you're not really wasn't there um a motorcycle dlc yeah i bought all the dlcs but i don't Do know have, where to, do i motorcycle? don't know where to get this motorcycle from i think you got to find it or like there's probably uh, i bought all those dlcs and it was like a good two minutes of like quest things being notified cool. <laughs> yeah and it's just like this giant like list of like dlc quests very cool yeah I they are they're quite generous with the DLC I, I yeah. found. Yeah. Um. Like you, it, it was like twenty bucks or whatever. Yeah. And it's like quite a lot of content. Um. The DLC I think, if I recall, kind of requires that you beat the four dungeons. Oh, okay. First. Or at fine. least I'm at least gonna, the, the I'll, main. I'll, I'll be doing that. The main um DLC. Yeah. Is it eight dungeons? <sighs> it's it's not exactly eight dungeons. It's they kind of make they they have they put twists. On, I don't want to spoil it. Okay. So okay. Just cool. um, it's it's there's there is one big dungeon though. I will say that. Oh. Cool. Yep. Um. Yeah, man, that God, game is great. It's so great. It's mm. so great. So, yeah. Severn, here's my question for you. Is is it the one that you posted? It me? is. Yeah. Okay. It is. My question Maybe. is, what will it take for us to get you to play Zelda? Uh, I don't think I will. <laughs> now, why, I, I can't, why is like, that? I can't see even in like a parallel universe <laughs> me playing this game. It'll, you, have, to, given, it'll given, have to look like Red Dead. Given current circumstances, I don't see myself playing it anytime soon. Do you, do you trust Blake's judgment? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on whether or not he agrees. <laughs> not, on, not on not on TV. <laughs> yeah, fair point. Fair um, point. This TV is great. What are you talking about? <laughs> not not on fashion. <laughs> I saw it blind. It was fine. Um. Some things, yeah. Uh, you know me a little bit, and, and I'm and yeah. I'm and I'm kind of upset that this is even a question for you. <laughs> I mean, look, I I already assumed you wouldn't play it, Mike. But I, you you're it's, wondering me, it's what, like, what it takes. It's me. like okay, you are uh, actively rallying against a really pleasant experience, mm. and I don't understand why. I, I can get it elsewhere, pleasant experiences. <laughs> but you you haven't had this one and so i think what you're doing it's what 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 makes me it hurts inside my soul <laughs> because um it's such a great game <laughs> that you have completely written off and refused to try mm. and and the reason for you refusing I, to try i, I it, played it a little bit when uh a guy at work brought his switch in played it for like two seconds did you go oh yeah it looks looks blurry a little bit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, but yeah, it felt fine. <laughs> it's, he, he runs. It's yeah, like he does. such he a does run. <laughs> it's such a wonderful game to play. It just is mm. like it's it's such. Oh, you know what's funny is so um perfect. like there's that saying like you shouldn't judge a book by its cover or yeah. whatever. But I that's all I've got, man. Like I, <laughs> I well, I, I don't I don't think you judge a book by its cover. I think you look at the gameplay. There is it, and yeah. and then go no. Well, there's a lot to it. Like, I, I puzzles don't really care for. Yeah. Um, gameplay, uh, not really into. Was it like a thirty-hour game or something? I mean, I think it's, it's a lot more than <laughs> that. fifty hours. If you want to do all of the dungeons without the DLC, yeah, I, I did it the first playthrough in about 120 hours. Jeez, yeah, that's yeah, not some Skyrim hours. Not interested. But if you wanted to just do the main quest, like if if all you cared about was beating, I'd never finish it. Beating Ganon, mm. it would take. Uh, I think the the fastest speed run is about ten minutes. Yeah, I I wouldn't be that good though. <laughs> yeah, 
but it's also how like, many hours did that guy put in to, to then do <laughs> oh, it? More than hours, hours. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, thousand hours. Of... No, yeah, thank you. The game is so good. Yeah, it's yeah. it's annoying that like I. I'm sure I've talked. We, we, I must have talked about it before, um, but like I can't really describe. Can't really describe it. Like you and me, we're just sitting here going, "Oh, it's so good! It's so good!" I can tell you why I I like it. There's, yeah, there's a bunch of different reasons. I <clears throat> I think about it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> oh man, just daily, just oh Zelda. It, everything about that. Okay, so we've I mentioned it earlier that it rewards you for doing things you want to do. Yeah, which feels great because Quark you're seeds. you're like Quark yes, seeds. but, but it's, always, like, yeah. it's like I want to. I want to see what's on top of that mountain. Mm. Cool. It, there was there was something yeah. on top of this mountain, and I got rewarded. It for is. It. it is. Even though it's always almost always a Korok seed, mm. just having that is like Tell yeah. Me, thanks. Does that is is that like a slot machine sound when you reveal a Korok seed? Oh, uh, that game is there a is bit full of, of slot machine sounds. Cooking is just like oh, a yeah. slot machine oh, yeah? sound. Yeah. Oh. That, when you start when you, you there's the cooking, and if you get like. A, a extreme quality dish the mm. the tune goes, changes dun, 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 yeah and dun, you're like dun, dun. <laughs> yeah and you're just like oh my god what's it gonna be what's it gonna be what have i done but oh, if you man. if you if you're doing like a real bad recipe it's like yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh like see these are these are cool and and they give you the the feels yes yeah i, I understand it, that and but i don't care for it <laughs> My mobile game's very much tuned into this too. That that frequency, no, whatever that is. To compare Zelda to a mobile game, oh my goodness! I'm talking about that specific, like hitting audio it, with, cues. Yeah. They're they're like that. they're making it feel rewarding. With chess, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the formula, you know. Um, yes, but they don't do it in a way that makes it. It's okay. A lot of mobile games rely on. Uh, I'm not comparing Zelda to a mobile game. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to stop you right there. Nick, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Hold your back, Nick. <laughs> Hide your knives, Blake. Um, man. Okay. So we've, we've talked about the fact that it rewards you for mm -hmm. doing what you want to do. Um, it f it's intuitive in, in shocking ways because, okay, climbing an object yeah. is just, you just move towards it. Yeah. And then he starts to climb it. You start um, climbing. And like, then like, uh, knowing that like you can cert certain things you can like stand on, for example, and you don't have to climb them. Like it's just kind of well signaled. Yeah. Um, enemy designs are interesting. Uh, they make combat feel interesting and dynamic for way longer than, than you would think because weapons break and you are forced to improvise. I, I do remember there was that, there was a lot of, uh, complaint, right? About that weapons breaking kind of initially i feel like yeah it, it was it was like i think it was very i think i i divisive it, it was very strange to me yes when that like your weapons just break and then yeah. you're like oh i just gotta keep using different weapons mm. it, 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 I, it, I, there was an I, adjustment I like that. period yeah uh, after, after a while i'm like i'm quite enjoying that now yes that like, was it feels my more as well it feels much more like a survival game you know and in, in that way where you're you're kind of like scavenging you know, you weapons. feel creative as well for, for yeah. when your weapons break and you, you, you just, you're forced to improvise yeah, yeah. during a really hard fight. You, like I remember there was a fight early on. I was being changed, chased by like, uh, five or six huge dudes. Oh yeah. And I had no weapons Shit. and I had very little life Yeah, and I was running around like dropping bombs behind me and throwing rocks behind yeah, me yeah. and dodge rolling and <laughs> parrying. And it was just like. And it, and when I came out on top of that fight, it was exhilarating. Yeah, and there, you know, that's what a game aims to do with its combat is to make you feel exhilarated and, and make it that feel like you've overcome the biggest challenge. Mm. And so many games fail at that. Um, and Zelda does it, and it makes it feel effortless. What's interesting with Zelda too is that like it does it. You feel more powerful, you know, based on your ability to play the game. But it's also not through stats. Yeah, because you don't level up. It's like your gear, your weapons, you find better and better weapons that yeah. allow you to fight stronger and stronger monsters. But you're not just being like, I'm going to stack strength, right? you know, and then just be the strongest. You do you do get to stack stats, like either health or stamina. Well, sure. <laughs> I mean, fairness. sure. But yeah. but it's not like, it's not a it doesn't RPG. let you hit harder kind of thing. You yeah. can't just like, you can't just grind, you know? Yeah. And it does all of this despite the fact that it gives you all of the tools in the first two hours, you know, and that's that's to me an amazing feat. Like, here's everything you need to play at the game, 
and then that we filled the world with hundreds and hundreds of different problems mm-hmm. that you can solve with just these tools and you can it, do it in any order you want and it, you'll be rewarded for it it feels a lot to me like a giant amusement park sort of mm-hmm. where it's yeah. just like especially because you start off on that plateau so you can just see everything for miles and mm-hmm. then finally when you're able to leave you're just like I could, where, where am I going to go? This, yeah. I feel like a kid that's just walked through the doors of Disneyland mm. and has just lost their mind and like just run <laughs> off. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And, and it still challenges you as well. Like yeah. even, even when you feel like you've mastered the game, yeah. you find something that's real hard and you get well, still any it. Like I've, I've been <laughs> playing for quite a while and I, I still avoid the big guardian guys. Yeah. Like, yeah, avoid the hell out of them. Cause they'll just like one shot you and stuff. Yep. Now I got into like, there was one tower I was going to, that I was like, oh, I'm going to reveal this area. But it was surrounded by uh, these big guardian guys. Oh, and no, I was exactly on a horse, and I was like, oh, I reckon I could get in there and get up this tower. But they could see you a mile away. So I was just on my horse. Zigzagging? Like, zigzagging oh. for, for ages. And there's, like, laser beams sh- shooting all around me. It was it was incredible. <laughs> I was it's, terrified. It's, it was tense. It's exhilarating, <laughs> it was, right? Yeah. And, and they make that, they ramp that music Yeah. Up. And then when I got away, I was oh. like, holy shit. <laughs> It's there are a few games that yeah. really give you the emotional highs that, that that game gives you. Did you um? I, I I like to follow a lot of developers and what they say. Yeah. Um. There was an article I remember reading. I can't remember where I read this. Um. And it it was like the guys that made Zelda Breath of the Wild were inspired by Skyrim. Did, did you? Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Too. And um. I I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys do next. Yeah. With the uh, with the next Zelda. Yeah. Oh. yeah. What what like what would you like to see? I don't um, know. Like, I don't know, Nick. What do you, what would you like to see? Okay, I'll tell you what I want to see. I want to see some co-op. <laughs> some couch care. co-op. I, I want to see. I want to see a girlfriend. Mode? I would. I would. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think that would be fantastic. Mm. Um, I would love. Uh, I don't think that Carrie would be able to play it. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, because of emotion sickness, right? Yeah, Not because of yeah, her yeah, skill yeah. at video games. Yeah. Well, you know, both. But. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, baby. <laughs> but she's not great at video games. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> But she has fun, and that's what matters. Mm. Uh, I would love to see, um, I would love to see them give you a new set of tools um, that unlock like a new style of challenge. Mm. Um, I want to see them do interesting things with the world, because here's what I don't want to see. I don't want to see here's the same world, here are the same tools, here's a bunch of new challenges. Yeah. Um, it would probably be really fun because the they design amazing challenges. Mm-hmm. Um. But I want to see them like really turn that game on its head, but still have that like openness and have that like uh, emphasis on creativity. Mm. That's what I want to see. You want to see new lands, new areas? Um, I, I mean, I would love to, but yeah. I don't think we will. There is because in north of the map, you can see a giant continent. Uh, yeah, you can see. Yeah, yeah, and yep. I'm just like. What, what is what is that? Mm. How would you feel? Good question. About base building in a, in a Zelda game. They already have that. Oh how yeah. Would, how would you, you can feel? construct a hut? You can construct a house. Oh yeah. And then no, you, can, you you can buy a house. You can buy a you house. You can't construct it. No, it's you, not like you, Minecraft. That's true. Yeah. This um, is what I'm talking about. Like the Fallout Four thing. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Uh, you, you you buy a house in a you, town and you can decorate you can it. Decorate it and fill no, it. Yeah. But uh, you, it's not like you have a lot of. Uh, say over the layout mm. i've been because uh, when i first when i first played that wii u game uh i bought that house and because i know i can like put weapons on the walls mm-hmm. there was this huge wooden spoon that i've kept in my <laughs> inventory yeah because i want to put that, put that on, the on the wall, wall. <laughs> i've only um, used it once to hit something and oh. it instantly said oh it's getting damaged yeah. so i was like oh not using <laughs> yeah. that uh, there's like brooms you can pick up and, yeah uh I, man, that game is so good. <laughs> but this this <laughs> giant, this huge wooden spoon, I haven't found any other wooden spoons. Where did you like Where did you find this wooden spoon? I think I found it like on the plateau, like early oh. on, <laughs> like very early on in the game, and I was like, I'm, I'm keeping this <laughs> giant wooden, the big wooden mm, spoon. Important. It's like a big, you know, stirring a cauldron spoon. Nice. Yeah. Did you get it near a cauldron? I don't know. I can't even remember where I got Probably. it. I might have. I might have actually. I'm pretty sure you stole it from the guy's house. I think I did. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone accuse Link of being a thief? No, and you can just walk into anyone's house. Jeez, yeah. man. I always think that's weird. Uh, that is weird. Actually, I, I don't 
I don't know if you get accused of being a thief, but people do comment on the fact that you walk into their house. Oh, that's good. At least people there's, do that. There's a, I, there, I remember they're in, um, in Hateno Village, I think. Yeah. You can walk into someone's house in the middle of the day, and they're asleep in the yeah. bed. And you, if you talk to him, he's like, I work nights, and you're bugging me. Oh, that's what cool. are you doing? Go away. I, I, <laughs> I've, walk, I've walked into a couple of people's houses, but I don't like doing it. I don't like walking into into houses. It just yeah. feels wrong. This, this is life coming into Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I explained to Blake, because they, they put lots of little Easter eggs, and if you take off all of your armor and talk to certain characters, they will comment on the fact that you're not wearing anything. That's cool. Yeah. I've done that. I've tried to do that a couple of times just to certain people to be like, I wonder what this person will say if I'm not wearing a shirt. Yeah. No, nah, I haven't said anything yet. I haven't found uh, one. There's, there's a few. It's not all of them. Um, there's something about the the Switch that uh, sort of is a little off-putting to me that I didn't like expect. Oh. Um, Buttons? No. It's about all, the hardware? No, it's it's about it's about the console itself. It has like... Oh, this... I know where he's going. It has this like sleep mode. Mm. It's it's so strange. Like you turn it off. I'll I'll turn it off at night. I'll go to bed, go to work, come back, turn it on, and it's as if the game has just been paused mm. and it there's no boot up, there's no anything. It's mm -hmm. just on and I'm back playing straight away from where I was as if it had been paused. Mm -hmm. And that that feels wrong to me. <laughs> okay. Like like I'm like all my life. I've been conditioned to be like, don't leave electronics on all the time. Mm. And, and and even though I know it's built in and it's supposed to be like that, it still feels weird to be <laughs> like, oh, shit, did I accidentally leave this thing on all, all day? Mm. But I didn't. That's just what That's the just, way it is. It just goes into like it, this. It, it, it reminds me mode. of like, you know, when you play Sega as a kid and you, you want it to, you, you need to, you have got to go to bed, you know. Yeah, your parents are telling you to go to bed, so you're like, I'm just going to leave this on yep. all night and hope that nobody touches it. Yeah. You know, and then you come back and you continue playing. It's like, it feels like that. Yeah. Like I've done something wrong. It's, it's very I, funny. What what will blow your mind is when you actually decide to start taking it out of the house, which it took me a while. Yeah. Because I was like, I don't want to damage it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, But like when you're, you've been playing and then you turn it off and then you decide to take it out of the house yeah. and then you're exactly the same spot yeah you were. it's so, that's so cool love like it. it's awesome like i love it yeah but every time i do it i'm always like oh you feel like you're hurting it <laughs> yeah i feel like i'm hurting it yeah because you shouldn't leave electronics on like that but it's not on it's off the uh the playstation has a rest mode yeah i don't i don't turn it on i don't like it i don't like the rest mode i i okay. i you have to go to another there's another step to make the PlayStation turn off completely because mm. you go to the, you know, turn yeah. off and then there's sleep and then you go to another thing and then it's like switch off. I switch it off every time because when you put it in sleep mode, it's got like <laughs> a, a yellow light and I'm like, this, this is bad. I don't like this. Hey, Blake, right. how do you cope with having a phone? <laughs> Phones are different. <laughs> are they? Yeah. yeah. What you're describing is exactly the same <laughs> as what happens when you turn your phone off. <laughs> it's, easy. it's literally exactly the same. I've never been playing a game. Do you turn on my your phone. phone like actually off every time you're done looking at it? <laughs> <laughs> I no. Okay. <laughs> but even uh, I don't know. No, I don't know, man. Phones are different. Are they? Phones. We've been conditioned all our lives that phones okay. are on. Well, all think the of time. the switch as a phone that can't call, make any calls. Like I don't. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. This isn't a complaint. This is just I have a very strange reaction to it yes, every I single agree. time. That is a very strange yeah. reaction. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> it just it's it, yeah it just feels like i am hurting it that's right. the thing um we're almost out of time should we should we ask a question yep. or do, have you guys got anything else you want to talk about oh uh i can i can talk about it although it's been a little while so i might not be able to remember things exactly but uh there was a big couple weeks ago there was a big uh demo at tokyo uh game show of death stranding <laughs> Okay. Um, and they were like, yeah, they had a, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half of like actual gameplay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still do not know what that game is about. I think what I I've heard what it is about. I think it's a it seems to be about walking from one location to another. Yeah. Navigating terrain. Yeah. Uh, clicking like on a ladder if you like it. What? Looking uh, after a baby. Yeah. That managing part I... managing your inventory crafting. I, I think it's about transporting a baby. I think that's no. Cool. It's not about transporting the baby. It's about transporting goods, mm. because you 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 start off and you have a backpack and you stack the backpack, 
the, the more weight you add to the backpack mm -hmm. affects your character. So you have a little bit of like every, like if you're going through tricky terrain, <laughs> he'll start veering off to a, one side. So you have to like veer the other way. It's like grinding in um, Tony Hawk's. All right. <laughs> hey, Severn, Severn, let me ask you yeah. a question. Does this game sound good to you? Uh, I was gonna. Ask I haven't even Blake, gotten into uh, it. <laughs> I, I, was, I, was gonna, I was gonna ask Blake how he thought. Are you gonna pick it up? Yeah. <laughs> just, just because you do, you've got so many questions. Yeah, I just, it's just, just like, I, what is it? Yeah, and I, I gotta, I, I just gotta play it. I want. Uh, I'll answer your question, Nick. Mm. Um, do you think I'd be into this game? No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right. Um, <laughs> but it sounds also, in some ways, a lot like Red Dead. It does. You, you are just so? sort of walking, but I, I don't. I think the you know the horses. <laughs> In red, in red Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant in... Uh, I think I was <laughs> going to go, what? <laughs> there there might be horses. <laughs> there's like robots and stuff. Well, there's... In he, he had a... um. Oh, there was one point where he found a... Uh, like a, a hover cart. And so he put <laughs> he put some of his packages on the hover cart. So yeah. he had a little more freedom. But another thing, you yourself can be on the hover cart. So you can like surf this hover cart down mm. like mountains and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. But the weirdest thing in that game to me is that, like, it has this weird, like... It's the babies, right? Well, oh my God, this... <laughs> like, the baby thing, you, you also... You're, you're transporting this baby because it lets you see the weird shadow things mm. when they're around. Um, but you also have to, like, look after the baby. So if it gets stressed out, you have to stop for a little while and soothe it. And, like, he stopped and, like, he had a harmonica. So you watch this hour and a half long thing yeah. <laughs> okay i i didn't so this is all new I, I i watched it with a giant bomb talking over it okay so it was pretty great um but like he he just sort of loads up on gear right yeah walks out into the wilderness to the you plot you also go to the map and like plot your course kind of thing so mm. you have a it, it helps waypoints you, you see yeah, waypoints. yeah you, you set your own sort of waypoints it's not just like you just all, automatically follow things so you're, uh -huh. you're doing that yourself so there's uh -huh. like some interesting some you know manual waypoint setting stuff your orientation yeah 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 <laughs> yeah um and then like you you, you it's mainly mm. terrain traversal like there was a there was a point where he had to get across this river and it was like waist heist he almost died Okay. He because he he's not so lay heavy. down his ladder. He's it was too it was too did too he big. did he like the river? I uh, he didn't like the river. Oh. Did, have you? Okay, man, I'm not even getting to that yet. <laughs> but yeah, he crossed this river. He almost died. He lost a bunch of packages. The baby got upset. He had to soothe the baby. Mm. He had like lost a bunch of stamina because of like going through this river. Uh, it was a hassle. Just to get through a river. I've seen how long this ladder goes. This must be a huge this, river. <laughs> I well, maybe he was just I don't know. He didn't. I think the river was like he couldn't get like it was it was too flat. He couldn't like get a get it through the river. The river was too flat. <laughs> the, the, look, he couldn't. He didn't use the ladder on the river. All right, <laughs> but he did then later use the ladder across a ravine. So he used that to go across a ravine. Went up to the thing. He uh, he 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 gave this package to. The person, yeah, Guillermo del Toro. Uh, no, it wasn't him. It was somebody else. Somebody, Jeff I think. Keely? <laughs> I think it was someone who was also a known person in like Japan or something. Oh, okay. Um, a musician. It was a musician. Okay. Because as a quest reward, he got a harmonica. Uh, all right. And then, and then a goose stole it. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. And then to um, <laughs> he he needed to recover some stamina from all this like hiking. So he sat down. He soothed the baby. He played his little harmonica. <laughs> mm. You know, um, and then he got up and he's walking down. And so he saw another ladder there. He saw his ladder and he saw another ladder. Mm. And so it has this weird sort of almost Dark Souls-ish thing where you can, you, you can't see other players, but occasionally you'll see things that they've left. Mm. You know what I mean? So you stole someone else's, that guy stole someone else's he didn't, ladder? He didn't steal it. He liked it. <laughs> like a Facebook like. And, and the more likes... <laughs> The more likes something that you leave down mm. gives some sort of benefit to you. I, I can't remember what it is. The ladder but that is, a that is a major mechanic in this game is liking <sighs> random shit that people have left wow. lying around. Mm. I don't... Like, the social thing's cool. Yeah. I, I think that mechanically... You know, I, I might be on Severn's side yeah. this time. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it sounds... I, I'm not... I don't. I don't like what I'm hearing. There was there was also a Dark Souls ish boss fight. It sounds mm. like basically what delivering Amazon packages in a post 
post-apocalyptic world yeah. movie. Yeah. You ever you ever watched without, that without like a, an automobile? Yeah, yeah. You ever see that movie, The Postman? <laughs> no. <laughs> With Kevin Costner? No. I think it's that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Except without the like rebuilding America. Did you ever see Waterworld? Yes. Cool. Just saying. Yeah. Just uh, just <laughs> yeah. was just curious. I've I've seen parts of it. Yeah. So yeah, that's cool. Thanks. I liked that movie as a kid. <laughs> what about as an adult? Nah. Yeah. That makes sense. I like it in a different way as an adult. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that game, mm. when does that come out? Uh, next month. It it comes out next month. Yep. And still nobody really yep. knows. And the, the funny thing is there was this hour, hour and a half long thing and he's like doing all this weird stuff. Mm. Um, it ends with um, your character is, uh, you know, that guy from Walking Dead. What's his name? Uh, oh, I can't remember his name, but he. Norman. He, Norman, Norman Reedus. Reedus, yeah, yeah. He's he's sitting there, and it's played out as if you are weirdly perving on him. I because saw the that, camera yeah. goes into this like third person, well, from the front, and it's like you can look at his feet, mm. and like you look at his crotch, and he puts his hands over it and does this like no, no, no kind of kind of thing. Mm. And there's like he's he's sort of you, you look at the shower, and then Norman Reedus looks over and winks at you at the camera. Wait, what's happening now? <laughs> it's I I don't know. <laughs> huh. Um, and, and you're getting this. I'm gonna get this. <laughs> yeah. And the, and okay. So and the funny thing is after. Oh, no, that's that, okay. Now we're finally fun, <laughs> at the funny thing. The funny thing is after that. Um. Um. Uh. Wait. What, what's his name? Norman. Norman no. No. Reed. No. The the creator. Chigeru. Uh, Mew- no. <laughs> me, me, <laughs> Um, it's a Hideo, Hideo Kojima. Kojima. Kojima, Kojima, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Shigeru Miyamoto. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Kojima stands up and he goes, so I think you all get the gist of it now. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, no. What? Yes, uh, Mr. Kojima, sir. Uh, yeah, what, question. What's wrong with you? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> why is this? Why are you doing what this to this? us? <laughs> why? Are you, why? I understand was... Ko- Konami has wronged you. Uh, <laughs> is this part of your revenge? But there was also this strange, like, almost Dark Souls-ish boss fight in the middle mm. where he got sort of sucked into the goo world. <laughs> oh, cool. Like the, what? The, the, the shadow monsters caught him. Mm-hmm. And he got sucked into the goo world. And then world. he got sucked into black goo world where you, every, you, everything, oh, is, everything is exploding. It's called World of Goo. Okay. Everyone, everywhere. So is, is this where the, you start, to start building bridges to connect all the goos? Not really. Okay. You're, everything is like sinking into goo and and you gotta like climb up on you can fight this monster in the goo but then like if you can climb up onto buildings you can fight the monster better it's did, did, this is this is as easy I, this is my best description of this i know thing. that i'm this honestly is the best way to describe I don't this know, thing i don't know who to be angriest at <laughs> is it is it you is it hideo kojima the monster is big is it yeah. me it's for a, being it's a here big, like four-legged like Cat look monster thing oh, made God. out of goo. Yeah, made out of black goo. Blake, stop! I'm... And and you throw bombs at it oh. that are made out of your own blood. All right, <laughs> if you've got, if you want to ask Blake why, why Blake? Uh, Frontseatquestions@gmail.com. Just email him and just ask him why. You keep ending I don't even these podcasts anymore. with asking people to say why. Yeah. Well, you to know me, what? Specifically. So, uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, and and you're saying <laughs> and you're asking me why that is. Why? <laughs> That's my question, Blake. Um at, at Front Seat Cast is our Twitter handle. Ask Blake why. Uh Facebook.com slash front seat cast. You can email you can send us a Facebook message. Uh if if you have some idea of what Death Stranding is about, please. If um, anyone can explain that game better than I can, <laughs> frontseatgamers.wordpress.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave a comment explaining what Death Stranding is so that uh, I don't have to look at Blake's face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, YouTube.com slash frontseatcast. You can subscribe to us there. Uh, Twitch.tv slash frontseatcast. You guys twitched it all recently? No. I, I did. Yeah? And it, and it was... Oh, it was pretty bad. Oh, oh no! Why? Yeah. Fantastic. Dude, so I I um look up that clip r- real quick. <laughs> real quick, Nick. I was playing Control. Oh I, yeah. I freaking reinstalled everything. Uh, I was I get I was getting my stream on. Yep. And uh, so I get into Control. I've got a boss fight. Oh. And um, I go into it, and I die like ten times in a row. Oh no! And I get frustrated. Yeah. And I'm streaming. Yeah. And then I was like, you start swearing, guys. I'm out. Oh, <laughs> like I no. don't. I don't want the pressure. 
You're an audience. That's a problem. How many uh, yeah, people are watching I, I'm, you? An audience of three. Woo! Um, Woo! So I didn't want to let the the guys down. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I I kind of just get got out of there because I was I was getting a little stressed. Man. Yeah. Um. Anyway, we're on Spotify. Yep. <laughs> we'll be back in a couple of weeks. All right. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of weeks. I yeah. I might be moving. We'll see. We'll see where I am. Mm-hmm. We'll be back eventually. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. We love if, you. If you can't make it, Nick, we'll we'll get someone to fill in. No, you, impossible. We'll, we'll do it. Can't be done. Well, I mean, not these fill in shoes well. are too big to fill. It's true. You do have weird clown shoes. I I love my clown shoes. I can't even fill them. Uh, and we'll be back in a couple weeks with our big shoes. Bye. Can I just uh, read read what um what Nick said? Yeah, yeah. Speak into the mic while you. Uh, I was wondering. Okay, this is this is um. Oh, it's Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is um. Uh, th- there's a video about Super Mario Galaxy two, and the way they do water is they they model plans and then just scroll the water texture. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I know. And uh, Nick was like. Uh, I thought this was uh, fascinating. I wanted to hear your tack. Tack? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering oh, if we use similar... I think, I think there was an E missing. Oh, yeah. um, I was wondering if we use similar techniques, and if not, we should. And scrolling, t- scrolling... Hey, there scrolling was there news. was more to it than that. There was, there was, there was, a, there was a lot more to it. Than there's, that. there's way more to it. Um they they but do a that thing. cracked me up, man. I was I was on the floor. Okay, well <laughs> I lost my shit. In in this fairness, <laughs> in fairness, uh, it wasn't just that they were scrolling textures. It was they were scrolling incredibly low resolution textures where they've culled certain highlights out. Okay, um, do you, do you know what he's talking about? I I mean I haven't seen the game. They they use a super. They it was like a sixty four bit texture. Or like yeah, 32, like like very very small. And um, 64 bits is like quite a bit. Okay, well, what, or 64 by 64, whatever. Like it was, it was small resolution, and um, and they were blowing it up, so it looked really pixelated. Mm. And then they were up in the contrast, and then they were culling out certain bright <clears throat> and dark patches, um, to give like a real weird shimmery effect. I thought it, it was interesting. How does that? It, it's, it is interesting. What this sounds like <clears throat> is, oh, look at this idiot taking an interest in the thing I do. No, it's funny because. Um, like it's it's it kind of because I remember getting into this and being like, dude, if you think this is cool, like any of these effects guys can show some real. I'm sure they could, yeah. <laughs> but keep in mind that Mario is on the Wii. Yeah, that that's that's like that's the way I'm seeing it. Is that this is an interesting solution for it was uh, it was a thing back then. It you was know? using like yeah yeah it, it, it it still looks good. Like that's ultimately what I was like. Yes. It's it might be simple. Mm. Yes. You might be like whatever, but like it the game itself the game itself still looks good yeah. and it's because they're using like clever techniques that are are simple on performance. <clears throat> and I thought that was like and because especially because you love shitting on Nintendo. <laughs> you it's your favorite thing to do. Don't <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. If, 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 Sav loves shitting on Nintendo, but don't send him stuff that you can he can easily like shit on. Like, but it's, he it's needs, from the it's from the Wii. I, this is from it, see, Of course, he's gonna shit on it. <laughs> you could send him something from like the original Game Boy and say, "Look at this amazing solution they've done for this problem," and but it's like, gonna be like the Doom, same result. Doom did that. You know what I mean? They didn't have multiple scrolling textures with all sorts of like multiple is not like that. That's irrelevant. They had scrolling UVs, and this was in the nineties. I know. Yeah. Ten years before, there's some cool shit with um. But it was. It's not just a scrolling texture that's cool. It's it's not the fact that they're using scrolling textures that's cool. It's that they're using like the console's limitations to create a cool effect. Uh, um, <clears throat> yeah. The annoying thing is like because Nintendo like limits themselves to shitty hardware, they can't compete against current gen games, which is unfortunate because you don't see them flex that technical muscle that they should have. I would love to see a side by side of the 
most graphically intensive games from the Super Mario Galaxy era up mm. against Super Mario Galaxy and see did, which one Super, actually stands up better. When did Super Mario Galaxy come out? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find. 2009. Out. Shit. Games of 2009. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, right? And it still looks good is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I would also say that, like, Mario 64 still looks good. Exactly my point. But this is, this is, this is what Nintendo excel at. Modern Warfare 2 came out then. <laughs> yeah. But this is, this is, the, this is the kind of thing that Arkham Nintendo Asylum excel at, then. though. Uh-huh. Arkham Asylum came out then. Oh, wow. Really? That looks real oh, fucking good. Yeah. You can't say but, that <laughs> Mario looks better than Arkham Asylum. Have you seen Mario Galaxy? That game is beautiful. <laughs> I have. But you, you guys, you... you guys are arguing about like two. You, you're arguing about like okay, World of Warcraft stands up because it's so cartoony. This also, is the they've exact... updated the graphics. Sure, but st- <laughs> not to <some> Arkham <laughs> Asylum level. But still, like this is the thing. Like, like your like, <clears throat> n- Nintendo games hold up because they're so cartoony. Yes. Like other games that try to get go for like high end graphics. <clears throat> They'll start aging faster because, yes. you know, the, the flaws will become more obvious over time. Yeah. But, like, the cartoony stuff is always cartoony. Yeah. What's your point? My point is you guys are arguing over two different things. Yeah. My, my, my point, I think, is um, I f- often I think Severn doesn't like the fact that Nintendo uses uh, no, exaggerated they, art styles. They have to. No, they choose is, to. And, uh, and it, as a result, their games stand up longer. They don't have to. There's lots of games on those consoles where they 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 use like realistic art styles, and they they just don't hold up. And the same is true for other consoles that came out in that era. Um, like your your thing was uh, Zelda looks good, right? And but I think you're only just talking about Wind Waker. Most what? Times. <laughs> like when you say Zelda games hold up, yeah, it's typically Wind Waker. Wind, Wind, Wind Waker does look great, but Ocarina of Time looks good. Okay. So Ocarina of Time, guess what else came out at the same time as Ocarina of Time? Final Fantasy Seven. Half Life. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah Half Life looks good too. Much better than Ocarina of Time. Um You have to look again, at them side by side. These are different styles. I don't, I don't mm. know that I agree this is, that it This looks... is more of a stylized Well, thing. this is a subjective thing too. Also, but... Half Life wasn't going for realism either. <clears throat> Just look at them side by side and tell me which one's better. Like objectively I think Half Life looks better. Okay. This, this is just my thoughts on it. Cool. Um, and yeah, there is that stylized thing, which is fine. But it's like, technically, it's not doing anything crazy. Like that, that, that Goose game that came out recently, uh-huh. great art style. And, and it will be timeless. It's, it's that same we've category. That, yeah, I've seen that Goose it's game. A, it's that same category. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, these are not technically crazy games. Mm-hmm. So, so I ignore them because you can't measure them on any metric. Yeah. You can do is, cell shading it, pretty easy. But it is funny that you say you ignore them. Like, yeah. You're just here's, like, I don't... Here's, I don't here's where I, I draw umbrage from that is because, okay, you're an artist. Mm. Um, art is not about pushing technical limitations. It depends, man. What, what, like, what are you talking about? How, how does that depend? It, sometimes it is. It depends on what the developer wants to do. Do yeah. you think really? that the best... like? museum artists are using the cutting edge technology if you go to the renaissance yes like it was the pursuit of realism okay but that's 500 years ago 600 years ago yeah. even yeah and then it went swirly with the so <laughs> are, are, it went swirly so yeah. by, <laughs> by, by, by <laughs> your <laughs> by your argument art today must be so much better than art from 600 years ago no th- what, what's your point that that technology is irrelevant because it's it's style and technique that is important. Um, my my ways of measuring this is um, how I can pull off this thing. So if you if you ask me to make Zelda mm-hmm. uh, in Breath of the Wild, I could do that easily. Okay, I I could model, rig them, animate them. Yeah, single handedly. Yeah. Think. But if I look at a God of War Kratos, this requires a lot of people. Okay. Technically, uh, a lot of very skilled people sure. to, to pull that off. Yeah. This is what I appreciate and like. Does that make sense to you? Um, there is a lot of art in that as well. But there, I, I would say there's also a lot of art in making something simple that lasts a long time and looks good. 
right? What do you mean last a long time? <laughs> like, as Blake said, Mario 64 still looks good. Still holds up. To an extent, yeah, it still looks pretty good. It looks yeah. more janky than I remember it, but it's still, sure. I'd still play it. Doesn't that it's, doesn't that count for anything? You yeah, you can still play it. It's fine. Like those those gameplay elements are a whole but different that, thing entirely. That, that's also a thing of like so Mario sixty four. It's it's a very cartoony play style. Sure, I would not want to play Goldeneye again. That was aiming for something more realistic with what it could do at the time, and it looks pretty shocking. Yeah, I, I would. I I played you, Goldeneye. Really? Yeah, recently. Really? Well, yeah, I've, I, we played it recently. When we recently, like recently, six like years two, ago, <laughs> three years ago. Yeah. yeah well, when I, we, I still enjoyed it. I mean, it was fun when we played it, but like, I don't think I'd sit down and replay that that game. Okay. I don't think I could. Like the campaign. Yeah. Right. It was fun playing multiplayer because mm-hmm. it was like you know it's fun fun old game, but <laughs> sitting down and seriously trying to play that campaign, I don't I don't think I could. Mm. I mean, also some of that comes down to like the mechanics of the actual game. Like you would, a- you had to aim with the C buttons. Yeah, well, they and... had they had to make use of that controller. They had all these buttons. They they needed yeah. them to do something. Have you seen um Toy Story one recently? The oh, movie? Dude, I've seen. Yeah. It, it, like, um, <laughs> I've seen like video of it, and I was like, Man. it looks horrific, right? Yeah, it's starting. It so really they, is starting they, to they, age. They made those considerations going into it. Yeah, uh, trying to make it stylized and everything as well. Yep, it's the humans that. Yeah, stand out the most mm. to yeah. me. The things that you're meant to that have to be lifelike. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. you're just like, oh, these these humans in this. Yeah. So, so I think the, pers- eyes. the mm. pursuit of like uncanny characters, yeah, is uh, respectable. Yeah, and, and I appreciate that. Uh huh. That's where I stand. Yeah, yeah. I'll, and there's I'll, a lot of fucking work that goes I'll, into. Ultimately, it. I think. The thing I was trying to communicate was that there is value in choosing uh, style over uh, technology. Sometimes. And, um, like, especially in terms of making a product that will last. There are... How many games can you count from, say, the Mario 64 era that you would still play? I don't still play old games. <laughs> so I, I, and why is that? Because I'd rather play the newer games. I would play a GoldenEye if it was like a remastered. I would also play like like a Mario mouse and keyboard like a, a mouse and keyboard GoldenEye. Like a proper with more modern controls. Yeah. And I'd play uh Mario 64 if it was like remastered as well on the Switch. Have you played Mario Odyssey? No, not yet. That's on my list though. I'm going to play that. The game is dope as hell. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, should we get this thing started? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was great. Shit. Um, I, I, I know what you're saying, man. Uh, look, I don't I, care for that. I, I <laughs> Unfortunately. appreciate that, that, um, that you're interested in the cutting edge uh, of graphics because it's important for, um, you know, finding out what techniques are valuable because there's a lot of stuff that people thought were the, was the cutting edge I mean, it was cutting edge like 15, 20 years ago. Gollum's stunned to look <clears throat> a little aged. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, uh, and ultimately those techniques don't age as well. Um, well wh- why do you think that is? I've just, I just seen like videos, you know, when in you know whatever videos, and someone will mention mm. you know Gollum, and then you know, there'll be shots of him on screen. I'm like, oh man, that's you know compared to like Thanos or something yeah and I, I'm thinking like one day we're gonna look at Thanos and be like oh man isn't that crazy look I at know. that weird rubber guy yeah fuck I saw Thanos and just lost my shit I know I couldn't fucking it's believe incredible. that incredible <clears throat> especially because I, I it, it was fantastic because like Justice League was I think I think it was before or just after and mm. their bad guy was a big CG monster as well yeah and it was like this guy looks terrible holy shit like it just made Thanos even more impressive you know, you know what's gonna uh, last the test of time? What's that? Spider Man Into the Multiverse. Oh, okay. It's a really good I mean, uh, movie. It is a really good movie. Mm. And it's using a weird art style. Yeah. I think their story's actually good. It's mm. a really good story. <laughs> but, like, I think visually it'll still be good looking. 15, These 20, are the things that, like, now. tick all the boxes, you know? Um, that art style is fucking ridiculous. Um, the animate on twos. <laughs> they do that thing. Yeah. 
Okay, <laughs> should we uh, get this thing going?